JME News Time 731. It's a cool morning, lots of snow, and Patrick Boyle with water security says that's a good thing when it comes to the spring fall. In those areas where the runoff has started, it will allow flows to pass somewhat uh, before any of the further snow melt happens. So that's going to help alleviate the peaks. The flood waters are rising, but they may slow a bit today. Water covers the Trans Canada near Indian Head and Sintaluta, the number one closed from Indian Head to Whitewood last night. A section of Highway 16 near Maidstone also closed because of flooding. There's also water covering the highway number 20 in the Lumsden area, but it's getting better. Only 15 sections of highway are flooded. That's down from 35 from the weekend. Waters are also wreaking havoc with the rail travel. We told you about it yesterday. A via passenger train slipping off the track near Togo. Ed Greenberg with CP says they're doing their best. We're paying close attention to our track network, the track itself, the bridges, the culverts that could be impacted. Find all the latest on flood preparations and pictures on our website, cjme.com. Just pick up, click on the flood watch button. If you jog around Waskana Park, Regina police are asking you to be a little extra vigilant. A 29-year-old woman was grabbed Sunday night near the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. She punched the guy, then took off. He's described as... CJME weather on the 8th, brought to you by Business InfoSource. Now here's CJME weather specialist John Wilson. Big punch of cold air diving southward, triggering off snow this morning, and it's heavier over toward York and the Manitoba border. We're thinking 10 centimeters, we're thinking 2 to 5. Temps are dropping to minus 4 and holding there. But this comes and goes quickly, clearing tonight, minus 8 below, ouch. But then tomorrow, sunny and plus three, and Thursday, rebounding to ten again in the sunshine. I'm John Wilson from the PKME Weather Center. Snow and minus three in Rotana. They know the world before you know your toothbrush. Pippi, Don, and Sam McKay on News Talk 980, CJME. Good morning, CJME News Time, 740. I'm John Hempy with Don Sasson and Sam McKay. Oh, we're outside, it's fine. The only redeeming thing about this is that it's so It is. That is the only redeeming thing. Yeah, it is so Mayor Michael Gutierrez here. You weren't a big fan of the Christmas music this morning either, were you? I'm just trying to be too. Sorry. You know, I figure I'm giving people a cue in case, you know, they sleep with their blinds drawn or something and they haven't built it up. I do, but I'm saying that a lot of people, maybe they haven't closed, they haven't looked outside, they've been busy getting ready, they're going, what? It's what? Outside? They don't put sandals on. Some people can't believe their eyes, they'll believe the music. Yeah, exactly. If they don't believe, if they don't look, at least they'll have an audio. How are you this morning? Great. Yeah, absolutely great. Well, <laughs> I have a big long list of things I wanted to talk to you about today, and then it snowed. Um, street cleaning, uh, up until about, you know, five or six hours ago, our city was rather brown. Because of all the, obviously, the sand and salt and everything we've had to use this, this winter. Um, when are we going to start seeing street cleaning start? Because it's pretty slow. If it stops snowing, we'll start. <laughs> but when? <laughs> Well, I can't tell you now because there will be delay because of the snow, but we will have it uh, starting in, 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 a, in a few days. We just need to, um, it needs to be clear of the water, and we'll do that. So, first things first. Is there, has there been any consideration? I know that they, has anyone actually ever been towed with those signs where it says, don't park on the street, we will tow you, so that the streets actually get completely clean? Is that, is that something that's been enforced in the past or that will be seriously enforced this time around because there just is so much more sand on the road this, this winter? Well, I would encourage us to do that, but that is the rule, but we tend not to do that because of the, the hardship that it causes, but at the same time, we want to clean the city, so we will do that. Well, I was going to say, in Saskatoon, a lot of times what happens is that they don't get towed towards the impound, but they get towed around the block, and the ticket goes on the windshield, right? right. So it's, it's not like your car is gone. It's, it's, no, we don't have your car. It's like it's been um, so, what is, uh, you and I were talking off the air a little bit about the sandbags. I went out on the big tour at the West Field trip. It was actually kind of fun wearing rubber boots and the... Uh